Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our XCOM 2 Saving Your Disaster campaign with the name of Dark Event Massacre. It is time for Operation Downhall, uh, where we're trying to get an engineer, but quite frankly we're mostly trying to get the alien cipher countered because we don't want more intel costs to be increased. And it just dawned on me, we also want to protect our regions because here's the... Uh, sort of strange situation that we find ourselves in if we don't continuously expand and and uh, have a broad um yeah array of uh, income there isn't much uh, option for us to just gain supplies typically i would say <clears throat> you know what go to the dark market uh, to the um, uh, to the underground market and just sell all of your loot but that is no longer available so actually our only real source of income is in the month end drops which also will change my priority a bit uh, it means we need to expand and keep the territory safe and we're going to do exactly that with neutralizing a field commander up against the sector prime and specter prime plus a lot of uh, advent as always that could uh, actually be a quite interesting mission uh, we are in the difficult decision uh, to maybe take some tired people with us. We're going to do exactly that. They will eventually be shaken and have negative effects. Life stinks and isn't fair, but the alternative would be uh, to take a colonel. I suppose one could do that. You know what? I will do that. Uh, that way we can utilize them on our next mission. Okay, perfect. So we're taking two colonels with us. That'll at least make the mental impact a bit uh, less. And the idea behind it was originally to just level up the troops as fast as possible. But there is no point in uh, leveling them up when we're essentially um, creating even more problems down the road. I need everybody focused. So we're just going to go in with this team. Let's go. So one of the problems with this particular type of mission is typically the field commander doesn't activate until we reveal ourselves since we are starting revealed. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I think the moment that we're being spotted out, they would uh, immediately start the timer. All right, found the first prime. Oh, uh, start. Yeah. You know, wow. Look at that high. Look at that high alert. All of uh, that is being spotted out. I mean, just look at the detection radius from here. All the way down to here. <laughs> wow. Wow. That is quite a detection radius. Yeah, what we don't want is being spotted out at all. On the move. All right, moving up, right, moving up. And uh, finally enough, moving up. Overwatch, good old hunker down, Overwatch, Overwatch, <clears throat> and let's just try to feel, uh, find the Advent Field Commander. Ah, of course, it wouldn't be a mission if we wouldn't have an additional enemy. This time, uh, the Hunter is showing up. By the way, I should kill him in his sanctuary sooner than later, just to prevent this from happening. Yeah, he was the one with revenge on missed shots, and coincidentally having evasive and low profile plus overwatch on top of it and he hates templars which is the only class that we don't have at the moment I appreciate that. yeah he appreciates that it's almost like the game knows what i'm saying okay we're resisting the fear of the chosen that's a start Chosen. 
and it's not going to make things easy on us. No, it will Let's certainly not make things easy on us. Possible. Luckily, we got a Reaper. They have a patrol moving here. Wait, 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 wait. It almost looked like. I will reposition. The objective is here. Yeah. Yes. Well, where he? Where is he? Oh, over there. Okay, cool. Uh, unfortunately, not as cool as one might think because. The moment that we're actually approaching them, this will cause some distress. All right, let's move over. Ten four. I think we still can can stand here. Theoretically, we can pull ourselves up. You skirmishers seem to have a lot in common with the mutants. Short on brains, big on brawn. Good. We're going to position ourselves up there. I'm going. Okay. All right, Overwatch it is. Surely there's a more difficult task available. Maintaining position. Go on already. Kill all the humans. Well, it just seems Advent wanted to uh, pull the trigger. Got to be careful here to not pull a second or a third pack. I'm not sure if we can chew our way through all of this. Timer would start now. But maybe the timer is bugged. Oh no, wait, maybe the timer stops because we are engaged with the Chosen. Well, so far there is no timer. That's good. All right, strange. Uh, my camera was froze for a second. I was about to work with him. And the best way of engaging here would be to use the melee vulnerability. I want to make sure, though, that we're not triggering anything else. Okay, we would not, as far as I'm concerned. So let's put ourselves closer. Or let's uh, try to not do that. That was comically bad. All right, instead we're just going to move up. The puppeteer gets reactions. Since it's a prime. But of course not if we're continuing to completely and always miss him. So... Let's try to go for him first. Both of them are in range, that's good. Overdriving. We do have. Uh, we do have run and gun, and we also have blade storm. So, how about we're just doing something along the lines of this here? Should not trigger anyone, because we're taking the long, long way around. 
Now his reaction will trigger another blade storm. And since we can't uh, miss, that actually killed him. Okay, cool. Well, that was good. Uh, that's a uh, kill right there. Also implacable, which is uh, plenty for good ability. Now time to deal with the Archon. Excuse me. All right, animal up here. What is animal going to do? Potentially just moving down here and then taking a shot. Whiplash as a free action. Okay, words. It's just not our turn. Moving into a better position. Let's see, we'll trigger a blade storm if he moves. And I hate to waste it on such an unimportant enemy, but I think we gotta use Sting here. Alright, that plus Blade Storm should do the trick. The moment that we have engaged the Chosen will be the moment when the timer stops. For now we're in a solid position, but we've also used a few of our cooldowns, so gotta be mindful of uh, that fact. Chosen right over there. Who could be engaged? So the other option is to engage that triple pack right there. One thing that we could do is we could actually like position ourselves in a way that we're going to engage with these guys next turn. Okay. Can we should we double move? just to have a good position. That would not be a bad idea. I think that would be a good idea. All right, Gravedigger on the other hand. Moving up here, animal. Could move up here. And it's mainly an overwatch type of round. Okay, gotta be careful with the timer, but I rather have a good uh, position than rushing in mindlessly. What? They disengaged instead of running into us? Oh, come on. Oak says I am to obey. 
Okay, three more turns. Don't want to trigger any of these guys. Timer will stop as soon as we have engaged him. Okay, well that didn't work yet. Uh, just barely out of reach. That would trigger on the other side. Is he going to move when we're spotting him? No, he's not. He's going to stay where he's at. I'm as graceful as a gazelle. I have to admit, Commander, I didn't think you had it in you. Now, be a good human and take the other one down quickly. Well, we're going to be a good human. Don't worry, my friend. Good. Not enough to destroy the indestructible cover, but enough to deal some serious damage to him. Unfortunately, we also lost sight. Hmm. That is unfortunate. But we can continue to theoretically plaster him with grenades. What's over there? Likewise, they need to be careful not to pull other packs. We could frost bomb him. But I think he's immune to frost bomb. Alien rulers were not, but I think he is. 28% not good. Crossbomb would make a huge difference here. Heading out. Common protocol would deal some damage, but since he's not mechanical, it wouldn't benefit from the extra damage. I would love to uh, go in and just run and gun him down. Fortunately, that's not how it works. I mean, we can teamwork. There is a second trap now, but that is indestructible cover, so it wouldn't matter. Gotta hate indestructible cover. The one thing that the frost bomb would do <laughs> is it uh, would remove him from cover. But I think he is immune to frost bombs. Let's give it a try. I still want to uh, test it. No, look at that. He would not be affected by a plasma grenade. On the other hand, would also not show him to be affected. So maybe it's just a visual bug. I'll try it because it would be incredibly efficient if we could pull that off. All right, we learned something today. Yep, we're getting semi desperate. Not not really desperate, but semi. 15% not really what we wanted to do.
Let's try Duke here. Oh, we don't have... Oh, God. We don't have him in line of sight. That is unfortunate. Rolling. Yeah, that's too low of a shot. We're not going to use that. And instead, we're just going to Overwatch. I like the idea of at least using a bit of combat protocol. Yes, quite a few hit points. We're not in a hurry. At the moment, uh, the timer is disabled. And we had to also consider that the low profile would have kicked in. Every single shot that we would have taken uh, would have had a chance for a retaliation shot. We certainly didn't want that. And that is where the ads are coming in. Hunter's protocol works well. Unfortunately, uh, those guys do have lightning reflexes. Oh boy. It went from not optimal to really, really bad. Okay, so far so good. Good. Okay, we need a plan and we need it now. We need a good plan. Not only a plan, we need a good plan. And I do have, I think, that type of plan. Okay, let's start. Trying to get that spark down. Okay. Nice little shredding. Self-destructs. Fair enough. Got to get rid of some of the cover here. And we got to clear the right flank and then move back a bit. That's the idea. That's the play. All right, just as pulling ourselves out of there. Oh, that was the wrong one. I actually wanted to pull ourselves there and not the other way around. Okay, shit happens. Uh, not going to take that because it would trigger another. It would trigger another pack. But what we can do is Duke here needs an aid protocol. Okay, we do have the ability to uh, to kill this guy back there. In the meantime, what I could do is I could move up and actually banish, finish um, the Chosen. What's our chances for doing that? Duke begins to heal himself. I think we have no free reloader. Expanded magazine and the superior stock, no. That means we can either kind of do that sacrificial field here, which wouldn't be the worst idea. Okay, or we're T 
team working. Hmm, that's not bad either. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how we want to uh, deal with it. Still got a Mimic Beacon. It's potentially the play uh, in order to distract them. I like the idea of straight up killing the chosen. A deadly trap. Okay, so got to deal with the guys on the right hand side. How are we going to go about that? One way of doing it is we could effectively bring the chosen down. And then afterwards unload with banish but we're in the open uh, the mimic beacon could help us the other option is killing one of these guys not enough damage to get the pyro down 58 percent chance of critting there's a chance that we could one-shot the guy, but there is equally a chance that the whole thing wouldn't work out. We're certainly missing the damage here, and we do not have the fist in order to kill this guy. <coughs> we needed to heal. We do have Bladestorm as we're standing here, so that could be an auto-kill. But equally, we could move over here, try to clean up that flank. This guy is self-destructing, too far away to actually do something. So, well, I shouldn't say that. Maybe he... Hmm. Okay, it's more difficult than it looks. You know, we could hand that over. But what would we do then? I mean, we could take another shot here. Okay, we could take another uh, shot at uh, the mech and destroy it. This guy certainly can't do anything at the moment. We do have Bladestorm with, uh, uh, with him as well. So he could take care of this guy here so that's i think that's the right play good let's unravel that we're still trying to kill the right side just want to make sure that this here is being taken care of. Okay, so I got one. All right, more falling damage. Oh, we can't see him. I was hoping we could banish him. Answers no. Well, that's okay. Team working over. And we could move theoretically all the way to here and then take a shot.
that storm would hit him, but not kill him. Ninety percent. This guy's dead from Blade Storm. Yeah, we're taking the ninety percent shot. That together with oh well. Kill Hair trigger and implacable. Okay, well that is our lucky day, isn't isn't it? However, I don't know <clears throat> if after the move we are still able to take a shot. Run gun is off. Uh, conceal? Would that <clears throat> allow us to get that extra, that extra damage? No, uh, he does not have uh, that ability. So here we go. That's good. Fantastic. Okay, we can deal with the Prime if we wanted to. Too many hit points. Give me a minute. Reloading. Putting that up here. And I think we're still going to banish. It sucks because for the Chosen it would have been good as well. Although, wait a second, if, if, if we're not killing it, that might be a really, really terrible idea. Two, four, six, seven. That's not a hundred percent kill. It's a good chance for a kill. It's a seventy-five percent, eighty percent chance to kill. Yeah, we do have a mimic beacon if it doesn't work out, and we can resell. Yeah, it's okay. The shadows fail us. It's time to be the See, he dodged that one. So, overall. We actually helped ourselves in that case. <coughs> okay, good. That worked out well. That worked out surprisingly well. Oh wow. Please don't take extra shots back. Return fire is not triggering his return fire, right? No, it's not. Okay, cool. We're a okay. Moving into shadows. I am trusting you. Do we have an a way to give over an action? We do not. That is unfortunate. All right, cover removal. Yes, please. Okay, fantastic. Problem with the Spectre Prime is it'll 
it'll deal a lot of damage with its retribution. <clears throat> Could try to get up here, but <clears throat> that will trigger Overwatch. He's immune to Overwatch, uh, to Overwatch shots though, so that'll be a perfect opportunity to draw, draw out that Overwatch. And a perfect time to miss an all-important shot. We do have lightning reflexes here as well. I would love to do that, but I know we're triggering more. Okay, so far we are surprisingly uninjured. that extra reaction shot you weren't supposed to live or not. well now we have indeed triggered even the last pack good job Saiken. it took you a while to collect all of them it certainly did but finally you've managed it pulled the entire map again Let's start marking this guy and shredding him. I don't want to hit the Spectre Prime because that will just give him more actions. Instead, we're going to use our last cover removal. We're now pulling ourselves up here. That would be an exposed position, but we would be in a fantastic flanking position as well. We got combat protocol if need be in order to finish this guy. Let's clean up the map. That is what we need to do. No more playing around here. Two, four, six, seven. Not taking any chances this time. I don't have, I, I would um, pull myself up, but we do not have uh, the ability to reload um, and do all of that at the same time, so it's not going to happen. Brave Digger took some damage, might as well position ourselves over here into full cover. Or a bit further back into full cover here. Or full cover over here, which is even better. That's the uh, that's the right play. Not flankable. Really solid position here. And that'll be an insta kill. So I think we're just going to reload.
and pin out the combat field. Could have moved into full cover. That was lazy. So far so good. Yeah, intimidate him. No, it failed. Okay. Time to go. This is my specialty. Looks like you get another shot. By the way, just out of curiosity, oh, we could hit him. That's awesome. I think we're going to go in and do exactly that. Reloading. Got another face, this one. Oh boy. They keep on coming. Okay, if we were to charge in, that'll be damage and then more damage afterwards. So I think that would be fine. And we already have everything pulled, so there is no more enemies over here. Very good. Leaving it to a machine to do your dirty work, a eh, commander. What? Oh, is he a machine? Yeah, he is a machine, uh, but not like a machine in the literal sense. Okay, so... We pull ourselves over uh, there. Mm, not sure if I want to do that. But then again, I also don't want... Uh, I'm not sure if I actually want to fight this guy. like the odds here I would like to have high ground but we've successfully eliminated all of it basis one is just barely too far away to reach us. And we only have bad targets. I mean, like, none of them are fun to fight against. Let's make sure we're handing out an aid protocol. And then the idea would be to first of all get rid of that purifier. A 
That might be a kill. Okay. That one would be a decent position uh, to to actually engage with him. Problem is, he's going to take a few turns, uh, a few shots in return. But we do have banish, so we might end up with only taking one shot. shredded him and he just decided to vanish okay cool And this here should be good enough. It's a nice cover position. All right. Let's hopefully kill, otherwise we're in trouble. One. Two, three, four, five. And we killed it. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. The enemy starts. starts to uh, to be quite pissed about uh, what is happening well for starters I think we gotta save these guys Wow okay. to see about that. Let's put ourselves down. Yeah, we want to make sure that he definitely is dead. Oh boy, two down in one round. That's a novelty. Good, we're going to repair ourselves just to make sure we're not exceeding that extra um, damage threshold. Phase is one. Needs to die. And we're moving over phase this one. And of course. 
That 84% shot missed. Okay, we need to let them bleed out for one more turn. Because I don't want to take even more damage. Okay, we're good so far. Sort of good. Uh, stabilize. Could revive him. As you wish. Moving a bit closer. Moving up. I was start I was hoping we would shoot him down somehow. Can't really hit him. Well he is flanked from this angle. There we go, nice little crit. Let's just stabilize everyone. For a second, I thought, oh my gosh. Uh, has, uh, mm, is he pulling out a real grenade? Ice pick gets revived. And we're looking at uh, an actual heal. Good. So, let me ask you a question. How do you think you are getting away with whatever you were trying to do? Fantastic. Ooh, what a mission. In case you wonder, the actual bleed out from the Chosen, that is regularly happening, so they typically don't kill. The other bleed out, uh, that was uh, pure RNG. We could have been killed, but at the same time, we also got two critical strikes into cover. That was unlucky. Okay. So that was harder than expected. Uh, good old Gravely Wounded <clears throat> and Duke also needs some significant repairs. So we're going to go with Guardian here. Ever Vigilant is nice, but Guardian is typically better. Threat Assessment is also good. Got some extra AP, so maybe just maybe we're going to go into Haywire Protocol soon. This here, of course, is nasty. So what did we get? Five light weapon fragments. Are you kidding me? Well, that is not a lot. But we got a lot of heavy, heavy weapon fragments. And even more sidearms. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, it was like 70 uh, light weapon fragments. And we got an engineer. So let's put an engineer here. Yes, please. 
Um. Prototype plasma weapons. Having more impact but less accuracy than our standard tech. No mass production. Okay. Hmm. Not sure if I like that. I like the idea of another spark. But we don't have the supplies. Let's go with experimental ammunition for now. That doesn't cost us anything and we have plenty of cores. Now, what we definitely... Oh, wait a second. New orders, Commander. And we're also repairing. Okay, good. Well, that's good. Yeah, we need the Major in the field. Can't give him that negative trait uh, repair. And what are we dealing with? I mean, Duke is going to be repaired. That's okay. We got... The majority of our Prime team is wounded in some shape or form. So they will need to rest. Which is fine. We will get some days of rest, I suppose. But yeah, that kind of put a nice little... Uh, a li nice little crossing the line of my original plan where we wanted to essentially kill him however we can't do that with that many injuries instead let's get into let's expand we need more income because we're starved of supplies surprisingly enough and now I also do understand why he started to collect supplies beforehand And we're going to collect the rest of uh, the su uh, supplies in a second. Improved shotguns. Plus one damage. Um, yes, we are of course going to do that. Not even a question. Maybe, maybe we're lucky and uh, that trade removal goes through. I have my doubts. Oh wow, infirmary. The chosen are doing whatever it takes to slow us down. We need to watch out for their sabotage attempts. Good. We got some nice little training here. Hit point regeneration. The Psy operatives look incredibly ready uh, to go into the field. Let's make contact down here. That's the start. Commander, we have a line on the chosen warlock here. Okay, and we could reduce the Avatar pro uh, project whenever we wanted. Do we need supplies now? Potentially. Uh, let's get them. I might want to purchase one rookie and train them into a sergeant. Just to get another sh uh, sniper because I don't think that we have a second one. Oh, nice. We got a Colonel Templar right there. Okay, well, we have yet another Templar. Okay, that's kind of a no brainer. Soldier captured high. Mm. Well, that is not good.
there is always a chance for a soldier capture. <laughs> That's so fantastic. Okay. Rescue soldier Sergeant Richardson. Which, for once, only has a wounded soldier there. Let's do that for now. Who needs plus four aim? I would like to give it to a sniper or, or to a grenadier. Alternatively, Knuckles could take it. Boy, that roster is thinned out. Would like to put it on the marksman, but that would leave us with not enough soldiers to actually put into the field. Well, barely. Barely. Okay, so we need any soldier here. Which kind of brings us back to the armory situation overall and to the recruitment situation, which 80... Eighty is a pretty high cost. Anyway, Stark Tarnoxus, fresh rookie, coming on board. Let's do that. Rescue soldier. Gotta get those guys back. Knuckles gets plus four aim on top of it. That's good. And we put Dark Tarnoxus, the rookie, in there. Fantastic. That's a good start. In terms of armory, I definitely want a second Templar. Let's see what this Templar here can do. Ooh, mm, mm. I, wow. Okay. Wait a second. <laughs> Please admire that. Fortress and Bladestorm. And on top of that Quick Draw. And on top of that Lightning Hands. I think. And Shadow Step. I think this is. Wow, six abilities. This is the perfect role for a Templar. Okay, first things first. Character info. Nickname. Gotta stay true to your roots. Look at that. We got Hogbite. And he's looking dope. Very good. So, now we can promote them. Let's start with the important stuff first. Uh, we want parry. Yes. We want bladesaw. Yes. We want fortress. Oh, yes. We want deep focus. Yes, please. I like ghost. But I also like a lot of other abilities. We want overcharge because we need focus. We want channel because we want more focus. We want deflect. We want reflect. We want arc wave because those are just fantastic abilities all along. Uh, Void Conduit isn't bad. I uh, Ionic Storm isn't bad either. Ghost is fantastic, specifically with uh, Blade Storm. So potentially going for Ghost. And we are going to pump all of the other points into into that uh, character. Maybe, just maybe, we're going to leave some open for a few of the others. <clears throat> but yeah, our prime team, our prime team will take that Templar on. So it's not a skirmisher. Prime team uh, currently would be the standard four plus Psy Operative plus Templar. I am thinking about maybe taking a Spark in as well. But that Templar is too strong to not take him into a, into a mission. 
Holy shit, that was a lucky roll. And we got a promotion right here. Chain shot versus volatile mix. Starting with volatile mix for now. And got that extra grenadier here. Not bad either. Good. We still need more supplies. So we're going to continue exactly with that. Good. We now have 250 supplies. And the question is, are we going to take a spark? That's 150 supplies and a lot of crystals. I like sparks. However, we're pretty deep into the campaign. So uh, let's not go down that route. Instead, I think we need a deeper roster. Good. And with that, Guerrilla Tactic School. What? What am I looking at? A lot of new stealthy snipers. Okay. I don't know those classes. Saboteur. Scout. All right, I'll just pretend for now that we're going to go with the marksman. Oh, wow. Why would we not take that? Medical protocol perk allowing ranged heals and an extra smoke grenade on every mission. Okay, yeah, well, should have looked into it beforehand. I'm not sure about those uh, mods. I've never played with them, but yeah, we're, we need to increase our income and we very much need to increase our combat power. Not sure why you would be able to buy that medical perk. That sounds a bit one-sided. Okay, I'm still trying to get another um, AP round. Because after the nerf of blue screen rounds, that's potentially the best one that we could hope for. And our Psyops seem to be almost done with the training, which is great. It means we do have two fully functioning uh, Psy operatives at our disposal. Okay, cool. Adding to that list. Commander, there were a few wounded during the latest covert action. But after a few days rest, everyone will be ready to get back out there. We have solid intel on the location of our soldiers. Good. We got another mission here. This is our chance to mount a rescue. I think I'll just run that one off screen. Uh, because we've seen a rescue mission already and I don't want to uh, repeat that. So I'll, I'll run that off screen with the Reaper. And we're going to rejoin uh, right after that uh, mission. And are ready, hopefully, for the next bigger thing. Let's just take a look here. Oh, we gotta first assign a few more things. Recruitment of Templars. Yeah, there's a chance that he's getting captured, but another Templar would be just absolutely fantastic we will begin the covert action immediately commander 
This here could be a trap because if we take that promotion, he, we cannot uh, no longer promote him here. So I think we're not going to take that and instead are going to put him into the Guerrilla Tactics School. Maybe we can't even do that because he's already promoted. We'll find out in eight days. And in terms of general armory, yeah, if we want to fight the Chosen, what I would want to do is bring the Spark, yeah, the definitely the Templar, definitely the Ranger Specialists. Still don't have a good marksman for damage, so the Spark would kind of fill that role. And we also don't have a Grenadier on Colonel level at the moment, so definitely would want to go with a Grenadier. So it It'll potentially be Grenadier, Templar Ranger, Specialist, Spark, and a Psy Operative in that mission against the Chosen. That way we have plenty of, um, plenty of crowd control and can uh, take him down. But that will take 20 more days, that's fine. We would get a Sniper from him, making the Marksman even better. And we would eliminate all of the capture chances uh, when we're trying to recruit uh, Templars. So that would be an, a reasonably good um, uh, course of action. Other than that, I think we just need to uh, plow on. I mean, we are missing, from an upgrade perspective, we're missing still the light weapon fragments, right? So the one gun that we would want to upgrade is kind of uh, the heavy gun and it costs just as much as this here costs and we would be looking at 70 heavy fragments at the same time plasma rifles would be 50 light fragments i think that is actually sort of doable if we look at our inventory what are we dealing with uh, heavy weapon fragments 10 getting 50 will be tough Light Weapon Fragments 21. Maybe I need to do that prototype uh, weapon. Depending on how things are playing out. I hope we're going to get more Weapon Fragments. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the content, leave a comment and a like down below. And see you in the next uh, mission of the Dark Event Massacre. Bye bye.